everybody. It's been a long time since I've made a new video for the blog and um, I've been wanting to make a video to show you kind of my latest makeup and skincare routine. It's kind of changed in the last few months um, and I'm pretty pleased with what I'm using right now. So I thought it'd be fun to show you. I finally started feeling a little bit better so I'm excited about that. Um, so I know longtime blog readers know I was using Lebrai for quite a while. I still like Lebrai. I think it's an awesome product. Um, but I kind of, I love change. I love like after using one product for several years, I'm like, oh, I wonder what else is out there. Let's try something different. Um, and I was kind of not 100% satisfied with the skincare, just for me. Um, and so I wanted to see what other skincare products were out there as well as a different foundation. I was mainly looking for skincare and foundation. Um, so what I ended up going to was Unique. Um, it's a common name you keep hearing lately, but I hear most, most of the time when I hear about Unique, it's connected with mascara um, or maybe the foundation. And I don't hear so much about the skincare line, and it's really awesome. Um, right now, I'm just using three products from the skincare line. Um, so every day, I use the Pore Purifying Cleanser. There. Uh, this cleanser is really, really good. Uh, you just moisten your face, put just a little bit on, it's like a pea size amount you need, and it's got little blue dots in it. I'm going to try and get out just a little bit here so you can see. Ah, if you can see. Let me see how I can turn my finger. I don't think you can really see. Okay, there. See that? It's got these little blue gel dots. And when you put them on your face, they really mildly scrub. Really mildly? That's not right. But they mildly scrub your face. Um, it's not as harsh as a true scrub at all, because I wouldn't want to use a scrub every single day on my face. Let me wipe this off here. Um, but it's just enough to really cleanse my face, and that's what I was really looking for. Um, something that would have just a little bit of grit, uh, but that would be mild for everyday use. So then after that, I spray on the Rose Water Toning Spritz. Just one little spray. And then with winter right now and everything being dry, um, I'm using the Time Correcting Night Cream. And I'm just using that every day instead of just at night. But honestly, I normally just wash my face at night. I know that's bad. Um, but you guys, this stuff is thick. It is creamy. It is moisturizing. It is so good. It has been the best thing. Um, a lot of times I have like dry flaky skin, especially in the winter. This has really, really helped to correct that. So those are the three things. I keep it simple. I don't do a lot of different steps. Just these three things every single day. A lot of times, um, if I'm taking a shower that day, I will do this step in the shower to make it even easier. And then a new product that I found um, about. I've been at Sephora a few times looking for um, a lip product. And I have really dry lips, especially in the winter. I should drink more water, but you know, that's another video. Um, so every time I would put on lip product, you would always just see dry chapped lips. And I tried a different product and I ended up bringing it back, which I've never done at Sephora before. And they said this is their number one selling product and it's Agave is the brand. And the number one ingredient, the very first ingredient is lanolin, which breastfeeding mothers should be familiar with lanolin. So this is it, it just twists up, I've used quite a bit of it already. Um, it's not the cheapest thing at $18 for a tube, but it has been amazing. It has really, really helped. If there's like a number one product, I've tried so many products, so many lip balms, different natural brands of lip balms. This has been amazing. So I'm totally sold on this. I want one all the time in my purse is where I keep it. Um, so that's kind of my skincare routine right now. Even though it does affect how I put my lip products on, a lot of times I'll put this on right after I put my skincare on. Um, if I know I'm putting lipstick on or even a lip gloss, just to help prevent that chapped look. So it might not stay on quite as long, but it's been the best thing for me. Um, so the next step after that, what I do, and before we go into makeup, I'll say I'm not a makeup 
queen. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not, I'm not anybody special when it comes to makeup. This is just what I do. I tend to keep it pretty simple. I like a little bit more natural look. I don't do my eyebrows. So this is, you know, like a mom version of how I wear makeup, what I figured out works for me right now. Um, but what I love, so the number one, I think foundation that Unique sells is their liquid foundation. And this is really awesome by itself. It's a pretty good full foundation. You shake it up. You can put like a brush, you can take a makeup brush or a sponge and you can put just like three or four drops and then dab it around your face. That can be it. But what I do, because I have a little bit more dry skin right now, it was still looking just a little flaky, is I combine their BB Flawless um, with a BB cream with this. So let me show you how I do that. And this has been the best thing. So this is just a tinted BB cream and the color I have is cream. Um, so I will just squirt some, I'm, this is a weird camera angle, but I'll just squirt some right here on my hand about that much. And then I'll take this, shake it up, the liquid foundation, take the dropper and just drop one or two drops on my hand. Okay, so you see I've got both foundations there. Then I take a sponge, this is just the latest thing I've been doing, I take a sponge and I just kind of dab it together. And then I dab it around my face, but I forgot, I just, I didn't put primer on. Ah! Well, we're not gonna do primer today because I already have this going. Well, I can do it. So this is the Touch Glorious Face Primer, and I normally put this down first. It's a really nice primer. Um, I've been really happy with it. Let me see if I can get some out here. It's just a clear primer. I just dab around and rub in. It's really silky feeling. Um, I just love how it feels. Okay, and you can see up close, my face is a little broken out here. It's red. My cheeks, a lot of times right here, will kind of be blotchy. Um, so I wanted a makeup that would cover it. I didn't want a super light coverage. I needed something a little heavier to cover this. Um, I'm totally reading steps. So then the next one is I will use the concealer. And the concealer is really, really awesome. Um, I'm sorry I mixed that up, you guys. So I'll put down my primer first, and then I'll put on concealer. Let me do that. A lot of times I have the concealer brush from Unique, and I will just squirt some on here. Okay, and then I'll apply it like under my eyes and on my red spots if this will work. Sometimes I just, and that was a little more than I normally use actually, and I've learned a tip to bring it down like the shape of a V so you don't just see the circle right here. You want to go ahead and bring that concealer down. And sometimes I just use my finger too, honestly. So you want to really get it in there under your eyes so many moms have dark circles under their eyes from being up all night, <laughs> nursing babies, or you know, just being tired. So this concealer works really well. Okay, let me check my mirror here. All right, that was a little heavy. Okay, so then the next step would be the foundation. I told you guys, I'm not perfect. And sometimes I will even mix a drop or two of this con uh, the concealer in with my foundation and I'll mix up all three products together. But now I just dab it around my face with the sponge and then you can either just dab a lot. I kind of mix dabbing and gently wiping.
looks kind of different using the camera as my mirror. So when I'm putting this on, I don't want it too heavy to where it looks totally caked on. Um, like I said, I want a little bit more of a natural look, but I also want to cover up my red spots. So I'll really go over like this spot right here. And if need be, I will put concealer on it again. Right there, you don't necessarily want to wipe, you want to dab. So it just goes on. And you could even use this point of the brush, which would probably be better. Let me see if I can grab any more makeup. No, okay, I'm gonna put another dab of makeup on my hand. You just rub that in. All right, check my mirror, which is a little bit more reliable. Okay. Yes, I think that'll work. It's looking a little more white in the camera than it really is in person. Um, I think just because the light, I have my blinds open on this side of the room. So it's not quite this white looking in real life. It feels white to me. Um, the next step that I do, I don't do this every day if I'm in a huge hurry, but I will use their setting powder. And just a really simple step. Normally I have a bigger brush, but I don't know where it is right now. So I just take my brush, wipe it in there, and put it over my foundation. And it's just a nice way to set that foundation and maybe take a little bit of shine away. Okay, people that are makeup artists are probably laughing at me right now, but you know, this is just what I do. Um, and then, uh, I don't use everything unique. I just take my favorites. Um, right now, I really should throw this away and get some new blush, but I'm using an old Smashbox kit that my husband gave me for Christmas a few years ago. I know, you're supposed to discard makeup after a while. So, obviously, this is the blush I've been using. Um, it's getting really low, but I take a makeup brush, I really, or a blush brush. I really, really like this one, which is not unique. I think I got it on Zulily. Um, and I will just take a little bit of blush and put along my cheekbones. Okay. I'll check the mirror. Yeah. All right. So then I've got some blush on. You can see. And then I'm going to do my eyeshadow and I like to use the unique primer. It's a really nice thick primer. I use just a little bit and rub in my eyelid and then the other eye before I put on my eyeshadow and unique has a few different eyeshadow options and I like both of them, the ones that I've tried. They have a splurge um, cream, and it's really, really neat. I'm not gonna do this one today, but you can see what it kind of looks like. So this is if you want, like if I need really, really quick makeup, um, I'll just do this. I'll just do one coat, um, and it stays on really good all day. I'd like to get some more colors right now, that's all I have. Um, but that is really nice, and I just, use my blush or my eye brush sorry my eyeshadow brush to put it on um, they also have actual palettes I have two of the palettes this one isn't totally my colors it just came with my kit and then this one I ordered and my two-year-old got into it so I have not used this much my two-year-old scraped out some of the colors um, I like the lighter colors in this kit but lately what I've been using is the pressed shadow, the Moonstruck pressed shadow, in these two different colors that came with my starter kit. And I use the light one up top, 
and then the sparkle one down here. So let me show you. So this is discreet and trusting, and trusting has some glitter to it. So this is the lighter color I like to use. And then that's the sparkly color. I like some sparkle. So I will just take the lighter color and put at the top underneath my eyebrows. And sometimes I go over my actual um, eyeshadow area or my eyebrow area. Not eyebrow, whatever. You guys, I still have pregnancy brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> whatever that area is. Um, but this is just a lighter color up here. And then, and this is a simple. I know lots of people use three, four, five colors. I don't normally. Um, sometimes I'll use three. Then I just use my sparkly color and put down here. And honestly, the way my eyes are shaped, I don't feel that my eyeshadow pops because my eyes, you don't, you don't see a ton of this. And maybe I should bring it up higher, but maybe that's another reason why I'm not always stressed about getting the perfect eyeshadow look because not much of the lid area shows a lot of times, if that makes sense. So I just do something simple. And I make sure that this area up here is maybe a little bit more heavy since that's the one area that does show. Everybody has different shapes of how their eyes are. Um, I, I've started dabbling in eyeliner. Like I said, I keep it simple. It was okay. Um, I'd like to keep practicing. I'm not gonna do it here on the video. Let me do it right here real quick. Okay. So let me close my eyes. There you go. I don't know if you could see. I think I got some sparkle on the side. Okay, so that's what I do there. And then let me find. Hmm. Well, hold on a second. Let me find my mascara. Bathroom's right back here. Well, that's kind of crazy. I do not see my mascara, and I don't know why. I thought I had everything laid out. Um, okay, well, normally I put on mascara right now, and I'm not going to. It's, I don't use Unique Mascara. I use something called Lancome. Um, I will link to it below. Um, it's not 100% perfect. Like, I know everybody's, you know, clump-free, but it's the best that I've found for me. I don't like the super light coverage of the Unique, um, the, the newest mascara they came out with is a light coverage to me, what I have found. Some women absolutely love it. Um, my mother-in-law tried it as well. She wasn't crazy about it. Um, and then of course they have their classic um, 3D mascara. I don't wanna do that many steps just to put mascara on. So I use just like a one coat mascara. It's worked really well. Um, so that's what I'll do. Then they have, a lot of times what I will use is their lip gloss. And my favorite color is Luscious, but I'm really low on it. Like when I get the brush in there, I hardly get any out. So I'm not gonna use that this time. I'm gonna use um, Love Sick. And it's a nice light color. So this is what it looks like. And it's, it is really light. It's a little bit too light, I think, for me. Okay. So just a little, a little splash of pink. 
All right, there you go. That's what I do. Um, and then of course my mascara, which I don't have on. But um, I'll do like before and after pictures so you can see up close as well. Um, normally it takes me maybe 10 minutes. This is taking longer because I'm talking you through all of it. But it really doesn't take me that long at all. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day. When I'm feeling better, I try to wear it a lot more just because I feel a little bit better um, about myself throughout the day. It just makes me feel a little bit more put together. Um, it's not necessarily a vain thing. I've gone to church without makeup on. I've gone to church with makeup on. Um, I just feel like I don't look as tired and just a little bit more put together. Um, so that's what I use. I'm really, really happy with it so far. I've been using it about four months and just super happy, especially with the skincare and the foundation. I absolutely love blending these two products together. And I have um, a pressed powder that's coming from Unique that I'm going to try. But right now this has worked so well, especially with me having a little bit drier skin. You can use either product alone, or if you struggle with a little bit of flaky skin, you can blend them together like I do. Um, and the products will last twice as long since you're using half of each of what you would normally use. So there you go. Um, if you stuck with me this long, thank you. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll try and answer them. Hope you guys have a great day.